All right, guys, in the last video I did, uh, I managed to install the 8086 cross compiler, and uh, we managed to write a small program and test it out with DOSBox. Now, there's a few things I need to finish up, and uh, first is the, uh, the DOSBox. Um, the window is a little small. Normally, I like something better for testing, so I would like it to be a little bigger. So let's fix that if we... Uh, right click over the DOS box icon and open file location there's the uh, DOS box options file it's a batch file if you just click on it it'll launch uh, notepad and bring the file in and uh, I already have my settings uh, already in here I'm just gonna uncomment them and uh, the area I changed here is the Windows resolution. I changed that from original. I'm going to comment out the original setting. And uh, I changed the output to overlay. The original setting was surface. And I also um, changed the auto lock to be false. So, so those are the three settings I changed. It's just my preference. You can change your Windows resolution to whatever you like. Um, but it, with certain settings like Surface, it might not allow you to change the Windows resolution. So you might have to toggle uh, from Surface to Overlay, just like I did, or one of the other options here, uh, like OpenGL and uh, let's see. So there's some additional uh, settings for the output to be and let me find them. Okay, here we go. So down here in output, so you got surface overlay, open GL, open LNB and D draw. So Try those different settings if it doesn't give you the window size that you like first, and that'll probably fix it. So for now, let's uh, minimize this. Run DOSBox again. And it didn't change. So let's see what I did. Window resolution. Overlay. Okay, let's save it. Maybe I didn't save it. There we go, it's because I didn't save it. So this is the uh, the size I like, nice and big, I can see everything. And let's run our little test program that we uh, compiled last time. Um, C drive, test folder, and test. And everything looks much better now, nice and big. Okay, so since we fixed that, um, even though Notepad is nice and I use it a lot for uh, standard uh, text file editing for uh, a lot of configurations, I don't normally use it for programming. Um, if it's anything with Lazarus, I use the built-in editor because of the forms designer. But anything that's just strictly code, uh, I use um, Visual Studio Code. So let's go and download that. That sounds like what we're looking for. And let's download the 64-bit version. Oh, there it's downloading already. And let's run that. And I'm just going to accept all the defaults here.
Okay, and first thing we're going to do is install some kind of uh, syntax highlighter. So we have a lot of options here. Okay, let's try this one. I think this this I might have installed before. And let's just open up our test file. And there we go. So if we look on the, the bottom right hand corner here, we have our different languages. So right now it's using the object Pascal syntax highlighting. So that, that's good enough for me. The only thing I, I, I normally do is change the uh, default font size or default font to something I like, but I'll leave that for now. You can choose your own. The next thing we need to do is uh, make this uh, able to compile using the command line uh, compiler. And uh, we need to do, uh, what we need to do is uh, create a new task here. Um, and and I think all we need to do is just hit enter here and And I'm going to replace this with uh, with something I've uh, created earlier because it would take too long for me to just come up with this on the fly. And let me just uh, paste this. So this is from my other computer that I have this set up. Um, and what we need to do is change the paths here. Uh, let me change it so it corresponds to what we have on this computer. So I'm going to create another file called compile and we're going to put it in our C DOS test folder. And that's the same folder we currently have our test.pass file. And that should be it for that. Once we save it, it should uh, it should appear here, and it's not. Let's uh, let's exit this and uh, go back in. Okay, now I have it everywhere. And let's see if that's uh, in our task list now. There we go. 
Okay, now maybe I replaced the. Uh, I wasn't supposed to replace the whole thing. Let me see. And let's go back to editing this out again. And let's see if that's uh, Oh, for some reason, for some reason, as soon as I replace that, it doesn't work. Okay, it's actually executing it. Uh, it's strange. Normally it... Uh it lists the, uh, the task there, but uh, I don't see it. But as long as I select run build task, it looks like it's executing what I want. So we'll just go with that. Okay. And next, uh, our compile command. Um, so file, new file. And let's call this, uh, I'm just going to cut and paste uh, what I need to be in here. And I think I got the right path. Let's save this as. Compile CMD. Okay. Now, hopefully, uh, let's switch back to Okay, so in this view, we could see uh, our file list and uh, let's run the uh, the build task again and you can see that it executed everything properly let's just change it to make sure that it is actually compiling something and uh, what can we do um, so instead of the uh, the bars of uh, different colors. Let's uh, just create a couple of big squares. Let's do a red one. And it's the same thing. And let's do a blue one. Let's change that to 100, 100, 150, 150. So now if we compile it again, let's go to run. So 
sorry, terminal run build task. And we got errors. So that's good because uh, this is what I'm trying to demonstrate. Also, that when you get errors, you can see uh, line 11 here. What did we mess up? Set. We spelled things wrong. And it's not solid bar, it's solid fill. Save, and let's run the build task again. And we still have, uh... oh no, we, we compiled. All right, so let's switch to DOS box now and uh... No, we're in the right directory. And let's run our test program. And we have our two boxes. So everything is, is working as expected. So I'll end this video with this because I don't think I could end uh, on a better result.